Clark, buddy, how's it going? Great, yeah. Good, Great. I'm glad I got a chance to bump into you. I have a few questions I'm hoping that you'll answer. Whatever it is, I'll have an answer. Yeah, well, you know, first of all, I pay you an incredible... I hate your fucking guts. So you produce something with some worthwhile content in it, or else you're gonna be eating fucking ramen noodles for the rest of your life. Is that clear? Is that clear? Is that clear? Is that clear? Baby, I'm tired. Can you just, just hold me? This is Sarah, my girlfriend. Beautiful, isn't she? Sweet as pudding. I could stay here snuggled up with you forever. Yeah, me too. She's everything I need and everything I adamantly don't want wrapped in a beautiful projection of my fantasy. The more I need her, the more I dislike the fact that I'm dependent on her. Can I get you something? I don't know. How about I try and make some huevos rancheros? That sounds great. Morning breath. We haven't been intimate in over six months. Sometimes I think she considers me a girlfriend, not her man. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Oh, I got porn. Yeah. When I was a kid, my mom told me jerking off would give me cancer. I told her cigarettes would give her cancer. Where's dad? Playing golf. <laughs> he has to play with his balls. How's work? Big time network exec? Not quite an exec yet, but I'm good. Good. Buy me a yacht and a pony. I'm late, and it's because of Sarah and her rancheros. And I'm probably going to lose my job. Judge me, condemn me, discard me. Well, <laughs> not anymore. Winning! Well, you're home early. A little early. How'd it go? Okay. They fired me. Oh. I'm so sorry, baby. How would you like to come and submerse yourself 
And some of this hot, fat, wet pussy. I'll even let you stick it in my ass. That would be great. Come sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Try not to think about it. We're going to get through this. Chamomile or peppermint? Those are the only two we have. I thought you just... Chamomile. You want to talk about it? Well, I go into my meeting, and the presentation, it's going great. I mean, she loves my pitch, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm sweating bullets, and I feel like I'm being talked down at. Kind of like with the department head last week. Oh, and you know what, buddy? <laughs> Produce me a good show first, then you can use my bathroom. And I have all of this running through my head, and I think to myself, my God, these people, they can't have this kind of power over me. Just being in the same room with them makes my nerves twitch and my temperature rise. Anyway, she leaves the room to get the department head. She's so excited that she just wants to show him right there on the spot. But in my mind, I'm thinking, fuck this shit. Who are they, really? So I get up on her desk, I pull down my pants, and I take the biggest shit of my life. It really made me feel better. that lady's desk. Baby, I have tried to be patient with you because I know that you're going through a really difficult time with your mother's illness. But you have some very serious issues. You need to get help. Met her in my dreams, she was my queen A castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket Give it to you later on in the form of a locket of a hat, the drop of a rap, the drop of a beat, you might have listened to a I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear. Go! You have some very serious issues. Produce me a good show first, then I can use my bathroom. Carl, right? Clark. Daddy, give up the phone. You're being a mental case. You're all grown up. You're all grown up. You need to get help. The most six months. You're being a mental case. You're all grown up.
a good show. Oh. <laughs> you talk about it. <laughs> Lose. Lose. <laughs> <laughs> have issues to work out. But you know what I realized? I hate your fucking guts. If you ever tell anyone anything about this, I will cut your fucking head off. I am crazy. I am crazy. Disturb me again, and I'll snap your fucking neck! I wish I could just pick up the phone and call my mom right now. Did I really shit on my boss's desk? I don't even know what the fuck reality is anymore. What I do know, the woman next to me isn't with me because she wants to be. She pities me. I'm not looking for a pity party. I want to tell her that, but for some reason, I think I need her around. Baby, you up? Yeah. I'm going to be getting up soon. I'm helping your daddy with the funeral arrangements. Have you called him yet? No. You need to call him. Okay. I've also made a few calls. I've reached out to a few of my friends. I'm sure the news has already spread like wildfire, but I would like to try and get you something before your incident becomes so very public. Okay. Are you free at two? Yes. Good. You have an interview at two. And if you're asked why you're leaving your job now, say that although you love working for the company that you're with, the creative space you've always dreamed of being in is with them. Got it? Yeah. Good. Can I get you something? No. Can we have sex? We have so many other important things to worry about right now other than sex. You need to eat. You laugh, you laughed, you laughed and laughed and then you left, but now you know I'm utterly mad. And they're coming to take me away, haha, -ha. they're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha, -ha. to the happy home with trees and flowers and chirping birds and basket weavers who sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes and they're coming to take me away, ha I cooked your food, I cleaned your house, and this is how you pay me back for all my kind, unselfish, loving deeds. Ha! Huh? Well, you just wait, they'll find you yet, and when they do, they'll put you in the ASPCA, you mangy mutt. And they're coming to take me away, ha ha, they're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, ha ha, to the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And then I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats And they're coming to take me away <laughs> To the happy home with trees and flowers and chirping birds And basket weavers who sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes And they're coming to 